Hi friends. Welcome back to my table. Um, I kind of started thinking about things yesterday. And I was wondering if maybe I'm picking up on Trump's feelings. Boy, I don't want to be there because he's a mess. And that may have been what was coming through because I am an empath, so I feel people's. Um, because as I started thinking about everything, I mean, I can see where Trump would go, yeah, I'm just going to pull out if they don't do what I want to do. See, that's him, which makes me think I'm picking up on his feelings and not really what's going on. So, because he could get mad and do anything. Um, because this morning I started to feel like that's not going to happen. I kind of feel like if he does anything, he's going to threaten, you know, they're going to have to pay more, that kind of thing. And not... So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the cards. Actually, I want to do two things. I'm going to do a little one just to see how Trump is doing and um, the G, with the G7, just to see how he's doing and what he's thinking and if I come up with the same thing or if it's something different. And then I want to look at Mike Pence and the Republicans because I'm, I'm getting stuff from there too. So first of all, let's How is Trump doing at the G7? How is Trump doing at the G7? How is Trump doing at the G7? Okay. Um, kind of want to bring this down just a little better. Okay. Um, a message. Servant working. Hope and pray and the celebration, a gift. Um, honestly, this is not much different, but remember what I said. What card are you not seeing? This one, let's move this over a bit. Um, there, there we go. Um, and now maybe you're not seeing. That one, because it's the servant. Anyway, I'll show it to you. Um, kind of getting the same thing yesterday. Um... This really does make me feel like it's just Trump's feelings. So it doesn't mean that that's what he's going to do. <laughs> and I don't really want to get in. Um, I can tell you he wants to send a message. So, okay. He wants to send a message. So if he wants to send a message to the G7 that Putin needs to be in. He needs to be in the G7. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't make sense that he would pull out. We're talking about Trump here, so he doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm leaning toward, I don't him wanting them to pay more or they get thrown out. This is kind Oh, <laughs> that's like I said, when you're dealing with Trump, this is what happens. Um, this 
this is the servant, which is someone working for someone. Now, this is interesting because it's like Trump thinks the G7 should be working for him. Y'all, this man is really delusional. He's really losing his grip on reality. I don't know that he ever had much of a grip, but um, um, now this is a little odd too because this is the priest which is usually a praying or a looking up for help you know a hope and a prayer or um, even meditation can come up with this card um, yeah, I think this is really weird too because this feels like they're hoping and praying that he keeps, when I say it's like everybody, is that he, he blows up. And it's just another thing which makes me think either they're going to force him to resign or y'all, they may pull him out. Yeah. Um, it's all about a gift, something he promised Putin. Um, now this, again, is the wedding card, so it's a gathering or a celebration. I'm getting two things from this. I'm not just getting the G7s. I'm getting the Republicans gathering. I think they're talking about Trump. They're waiting for him to do something really stupid and out of line and it, it just to pile on. And I, I don't know how much they need. How much do you need, you know? So this seems like overkill to me. Really? You need him to do something else? It, I don't really get. Let me do that. Let's do that, y'all. Let's just have a look at Pence and the Republicans. Let's have a look at Pence and the Republicans. What are they, what is their plan with Trump? Pence and the Republicans. What is their plan with Trump? Pence and the Republicans. What is their plan with Trump? Pence and the Republicans. What is their plan with Trump? Okay. So, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, do y'all see? <laughs> okay. So this is the house card. I call it the home card because it's it's everything. Business, friends, relationships, family, your income, everything. Um <clears throat> Now, what I'm getting here, y'all, is they're hoping something comes out really soon because they think that'll push Trump off the deep end. Oh, God, do you, is, does that mean they don't think he's at the deep end yet? Oh, oh, no, wait, I get it, I get it. They're hoping they know something's coming out and they're hoping it's coming out soon. From the house investigations about money I think something anyway they're hoping something comes out soon because that will force him to resign like I said before the easiest thing would be for him to resign and that looks like that's what they're holding out for and hoping for So, in deep thought, they are in deep thought about Trump. Do they wait 
for the house to come out and him to resign or do they make a move that's what that feels like this is the reunion card and remember in the other videos um, sometimes it's about actually revisiting situations or gathering together which is you know to talk about things this is the Republicans gathering together trying to figure out do they wait on the house to come up with something that they know Trump will resign and leave or do they do something this is the conversation now this is what they're trying to figure out it's a hope and a prayer so they're hoping and praying for the something to come out from the house for him to resign but if that doesn't happen they are, are willing to remove him because he can't complete his term and they're going to say it's because of illness what they're really saying y'all is the man mentally isn't there which makes sense because Scaramucci that's exactly what he is saying he's saying he's lost it and the Republicans need to to go on that so that's what they're trying to do y'all um, they're hoping that the house investigation comes out with something but if not they are ready to remove him on his health that he is not capable because this is a little about health the Milady card is more about health and a little about bad news this is more about bad news and little about health kind of reverses so the bad news would be telling Trump we're pulling you out so That reminds me of something else. Nikki Haley. I know that there was a tweet about Pence and Haley for 2020. They cannot wait too long because they need to get that going. So they've been waiting for the House to come out with because they know when they do come out with it. Trump will resign. I've told y'all that. So this is this all makes sense to me. Uh, but it's taking a long time and they may have to resort to and that may be why they're hoping he does do something with the G7 to where they can they can go ahead and enforce this. Because I think they want Pence and Haley for 2020, which means Trump has got to go. And when I say they, I am talking about the Republicans here. We're not talking about the Democrats. We're talking about the Republicans here. So what I would tell y'all is don't worry no matter what he does at the G7. Don't worry. Because even if he did pull us out, y'all, which I'm, I'm starting to doubt, you know, that that may be something in the back of his mind like, but his mind's not right anyway so but even if they did we would just join back uh, that wouldn't stand and i don't even know if he can legally do it but he seems to be able to do a lot of things that i didn't know was legally possible you know him demanding that these companies not buy from china uh, this is getting really scary too y'all these companies you know not work for China and come back home which would be lovely except if you come back home where you gonna get the parts or the stuff that you need to do whatever company you're doing because the majority majority of it, everything comes from China now yeah you can do Taiwan and you know some of these early other places but it's not going to be enough to keep a business going. And really, I think this may be another thing that's lit in the fire under the Republicans because they're seeing 
this whole China uh, war um, is a disaster in the making waiting to happen. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but it is. But what I would say is don't, you know, I see y'all talking about Trump is going to ruin our country. Trump has done damage. And yeah, it's going to take a long time. But Trump is one man, y'all. He's not going to, I mean, he's going to do bad things that is going to bring us down and going to cause us problems. I'm in total agreement with that. But I just think you're giving him too much credit, like, and I just wouldn't because I can tell you, I feel it. He is on his way out. It is just a matter of time. If you can just keep that in mind, it is just a matter of time. And then we have a lot of things we need to fix that we didn't know could go so bad because Trump showed us just how bad and how long. Even the Dakum DOJ. Now, whoever thought they would be interfering, but they are. So there shouldn't be this much power and control. You know, it, 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 no, this is not. So we needed to learn a lot of things. And I think indeed we have learned a lot of things. Um, and a lot of that will change. But what I just wanted to tell y'all was don't worry so much. Don't get all, even if he does throw a temper tamper and, and decide, you know, he's pulling us out. I don't even know if he can legally do that. But it doesn't matter. We'll go back in. Um, it, it's just Trump not really he's lashing out because he knows he's he's lost it and, and he's going to have to go and so he's just mad and he's making us pay is what it amounts to and yeah he can do a lot of damage he can do a lot of damage to the markets he can do a lot of damage and then I know y'all are going to say well Marie Pence isn't any better. I can't help who the vice president is, y'all. Trump is president. If he leaves, the vice president takes his place. Now, I also said, and I will remind you again, I did see Pence being sworn in, but not for very long. I don't know exactly what happens if you know something comes out or something but he's not there for very long but regardless y'all you can't change what there is Trump is president Pence is his vice president if Trump goes Pence will be sworn in as president there's nothing I can do about that don't start telling me Oh, you like Pence and you want Pence and he's horrible and he's this. First of all, don't even talk that way because then that sends out that bad energy. Just understand and accept, please, that there are higher powers in control here. We're learning a lesson. We're learning it. You're not going to learn a lesson and everything go good and, and, you know, flowers and everything being handed to you. So expect some of what you don't like and what you don't want. But just watch what you say and how you, you say it because that puts out negative energy. Okay? And we really don't need that. And besides, y'all, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay? So don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. But I do believe Trump is, and he knows. Trump knows he's on his way out. And it's like he wants us to pay. So he's going to try and do as much as he can. And he will do as much as, as much as they let him get away with is what he will do. That's just a fact. Okay. So I hope that helps y'all. And this is all just my opinion on my reading of the cards it's for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> and let's um, get a message card. But I thought, I know everybody's 
you know, kind of really gloomy and everything. But, um, I think it's going to be okay, y'all. I do. Well, I actually more than think it's going to be okay. I know it will be okay. There are lessons to be learned. Ah, the devil. How appropriate. I am free of whatever's holding me back. We will be free of Trump, y'all. We will. Just give it time. We're going to be free of him. And we'll have Pence um, for a short period of time. And then we'll be free of him. And there's nothing I can do about that. So don't start telling me or asking me why, why I want Pence. I don't want Pence. I don't like Trump. I don't like Pence. I don't like either of them. But, I'm not telling you what I want or what I'm like. I'm telling you about the situation and what the cards are telling me. Those are two different and separate things. Okay? So, um, try to have a good weekend and not worry too much about anything. Let me do it because I'm an empath, so I kind of take on this stuff anyway. And don't worry about me. I'm okay. I protect myself. Don't worry. Um... And um, just kind of let things happen, friends. Okay? I love each and every one of y'all. And thank each and every one of y'all. Until the next time, friends.